Hello everyone, Matt here I'm with Mark. And today I'm going to the gym. Uh, first time I've been to the gym in a long time. Mark goes all the time. I try. Yeah, I think it's the reason I don't go to the gym is because I'm a right fat. So, yeah. You are like. <laughs> You're right. No, it's oh, not. I'm joking. No, it's not an insult. It's true. <laughs> So yeah, today I went to the gym with my friend Mark and I must say, I don't think I've done a better workout than that in my entire life. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty much in pain and I'm still am in pain. Mostly in my legs, like whenever I walk it hurts. It just, you know, it goes to show how unfit I really am. So anyway, as you guys saw, me in the gym, I was spraying a fragrance on my skin. Yeah, that fragrance will be reviewed in this episode and it's called X Man by John Richmond. Now this fragrance came out in 2014 and it's known as a fresh woody fragrance. Not a lot is actually known on this fragrance. Uh, I managed to pick this up from a discounters. I think I paid around 13 pounds for this bottle and it's a 50 mil, 40 mil, it's a 40 mil size bottle. Yeah, so yeah, not a lot is known on this fragrance. I don't know if there's a lot of reviews for it on YouTube, so yeah, I don't know if this is, this is exclusive or not, but uh, if you guys have seen any reviews for this scent, please let me know in the comments below. So before I review this fragrance, let me tell you a little bit about John Richmond. Now, I'm on the website right now because I think, truthfully, I'm going to get the most honest answers from his website, you know what I mean? So, it says here, in 1995, John Richmond took the decision to move to Italy with the aim to become a truly international brand. And from this vision grew the international success that is now associated with the brand. Over and above his vocation for fashion, John has always been passionately interested in music. Yes! I learned about fashion from the music of my teenage years, David Bowie, Mark Bolan, wow. Roxy music, punk, new wave, this became my design DNA. His own irrelevant style and iconic tattoo prints, all of course, with sartorial precision. Okay, now I've looked on the website and there's nothing listed about his fragrances, sadly. So I'm just going to tell you guys what I think of this one. Now, as you can see, I went to the gym today and this is all I've worn all day. And so far, it's actually doing pretty well on my skin. So, But we will talk a little bit in detail. Now, Here's what the bottle looks like. We get Richmond along the top, we get X, and then we get Man underneath. Uh, we get this really nice blue bottle. The only part of this bottle I don't like is this cap. I think it's so cheap. Check this out. I mean, it's just, it's just pure plastic. It's, it's shameful. <laughs> but everything else is pretty good. This part here is metal and the sprayer is brilliant. Check this out. Brilliant sprayer on this scent, and that's pretty much all there is with the presentation. Now let's get straight in with the fragrance itself. So, we're going to talk a little bit about the notes, and this will be taken from bass notes. You know I like bass notes. Anyway, in terms of the notes for X-Man by John Richmond, in the top we get bergamot, lemon, black pepper. In the heart notes we get lavender, lavandine, pineapple, and violet leaf. I don't know what lavandine is, you guys might have to tell me in the comments. <laughs> and in the base notes we get cashmere woods, patchouli, tonka bean, cedarwood, and cipriol, if I pronounce that right. So yeah, interesting group of fragrances, but as soon as you smell this scent, I'm not gonna lie, okay, you get a very generic smell. <laughs> I remember when I bought this, it was totally a blind buy, I thought, you know what, for the price, I might as well buy it, see what it's like. I remember tearing into the box, you know what, you know that feeling when you buy a fragrance, you just want to rip into the box, you just want to know what it smells like straight away? Yeah, I was, I was just a little bit, I wasn't disappointed or anything, but I was just like, you know, this isn't special, this is nothing unique, 
you know. And for 2%, it didn't really bother me in the end, but I was expecting something maybe a little bit more interesting. Because this fragrance, to my nose, smells a lot like Karl Lagerfeld's Karl Lagerfeld. If you guys haven't checked out this fragrance, this is what the bottle looks like. Very under the radar fragrance, in my opinion. I mean, I've never really liked it. I've smelt it whenever I've gone into stores and stuff, but I just find it totally generic, and I think a lot of people will agree with me on that. I mean, it's not a bad smell. It does smell very similar to this, so this is not also a bad smell, but it's just a little bit too generic for my tastes. But when you smell this, you get this blast of citrus. It's just like a very nice lemon note, a little bit synthetic, not gonna lie. We also do get that bit of bergamot creating a bit more of a zesty feel with that lemon note. And we do get black pepper, which creates a spicy overtone. Um, the, the opening for this fragrance can be a little bit cloying and I wouldn't really recommend it in hot weather either. Just so you know, because it's, I, it, it's just because of the opening. I, I don't know, I guess it's the black pepper mixing with the lemon just creating this, I don't know, just bleh. And in terms of the middle notes, uh, the lavender and the lavandine. Now, I'm guessing the lavandine is a very similar note to the lavender. I, I, I don't know. Definitely get lavender. Like, it's... I guess it's a little bit soapy. Like, it kind of reminds me of uh, this soap that you could buy over here. And uh, the soap, I think it's called Pears. You might be able to buy it, like, wherever you guys are, but it's called Pears. And it's like this green soap. And... It reminds me very much of that. <laughs> I'm very vague, I know, I apologize, guys. But that's what it kind of reminds me of. It's got this soapy feel to it. Pineapple? Um, hard to say. I mean, I don't know. I don't really get a pineapple sort of smell out of this, if I'm honest. Whenever I think of pineapple, I think of, you know, literally cut pineapple in a tin, you know, where it's mixed with the juice. That's that type of pineapple. Or the artificial pineapple, which is also in a lot of fragrances. I don't really smell either of that, so I guess safe for me to say the pineapple note in this fragrance is pretty mute and the violet leaf i guess there is a bit of a violet smell um yeah i would say there's a bit of a violet smell it's very hidden though very very hidden and in terms of the base notes like this when when this fragrance has been on my skin i noticed that it became very woody in the dry down and i guess the cashmere woods not cedar wood really do play a big part. Um, tonka bean also, yeah, I think the, the fragrance, it, it's not like a, a vanilla sort of tonka bean. This one is more like a, just a natural woody dry down. So I'm guessing that maybe the tonka bean is being created to smell more woody. I don't know that. I just get a really woody dry down out of this. It is a little bit sweet also, and I guess that's coming from the cedar wood. But overall, I think that this fragrance in general, I think I just think it's a bit bland. It's a little bit boring, but I will say this: it is perfect for the gym, and I'm so glad I took this with me today. And I'm so glad I'm reviewing it as well because I think the only thing this is good for is the gym, literally. I think it's just because it's if you you know when you're in the gym and the air condition is hitting you and you know you you feel refreshed. You don't feel like you you're you're constantly stripping you know of sweat. I know that sounds disgusting, but you know what I mean. You feel fresh and energized. This fragrance works very well for that. Even though it is completely synthetic, it doesn't smell natural, it's still got a very sort of comforting edge to it. And I think it just works for the gym, and I'm so glad I used it. So yeah, this has been my review for Richmond X, or X-Man by John Richmond. Sort of boring fragrances. There's nothing spectacular about this, but if you like this fragrance, please let me know. Uh, as you guys know, I am very honest with my fragrances. If I don't like a scent, I will speak about it, but... That's just my opinion. So if you guys like this fragrance, let me know what you think of it. And please let me know if you see a, a little bit of a similarity between this and Karl Lagerfeld's Karl Lagerfeld. Because I do. Very, very strongly. And I've looked on uh, reviews online and a lot of people do mention it. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much for watching my fragrance obsession, guys. Please expect a few more reviews in the next few days. I've just received some new Al Rehabs. I've just received some more samples from one of my subscribers. I think you know who you are, which I will be doing a video on tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And also guys, I've just received a miniature of a jupe parfum all the way from 1990. You should totally put it in the comments. <laughs> I just want to see if you guys can guess it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. Keep smelling good and have a wonderful evening. See you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.